Welcome back to this video series on structured query language. In this video, we're going to jump right back to our two tables, uh, artists and album. We're going to uh, do something called foreign engineering. We're going to insert some data and then we're going to query our tables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the database. I'm going to do something called foreign engineering. Um, this is my local instance, MySQL 80 uh, that I showed in video one. I'll click next. Um, if you have an issue with connecting, it's probably because uh, your your server is not on. So make sure your server is on. Um, and then once your server is on, you should be good to go. I'll click next. And this is going to tell me what's going to actually get Ford engineered. Uh, and here is an export my tables. Um, and if I had views or any routines, uh, I can also click on those. But I don't have any of those at the moment. So I only have two tables. And so that suffices for now. So I'll click next. And then here you'll see that it writes out the whole entire script to create my database and to create the tables uh, and also the foreign key and the foreign key constraints. And so uh, here's the command to create the database. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is uh, create schema, if not exist, album artist. Um, and then here's my command to create the table. And this one here, it says it, it may look a little odd here because it says create table if not exist. A lot of times you'll see something that says create table and then you just say the, the table name. Um, so here's my two tables, um, artists and an album. Uh, and there seems like there's much more going on here than, than what you typically have. But if we were to jump back to our PowerPoint, what you may see that's more familiar is something that looks like this here. Create table user. You give the column name, the data type, and then you can specify the primary key. So this is less convoluted than what the Ford engineer process is spewing out to us. So let's jump back here and let's click on next. Okay. So that Ford engineering process went through successfully. Uh, there was one thing that I did have to uh, implement on my table here. Let me just close this here. And I just wanted to make, <clears throat> I went back before I actually went through that foreign engineering process to make sure that everything was properly checked off. Um, so my album here, I uh, made sure that was primary key, not null. But then also when I clicked on foreign keys, uh, I just made sure that I think I previously had it also referencing my album ID. I just took that off and made sure it only referenced uh, my my column that is just, that's meant to be my foreign key uh, that was referenced in the artist ID uh, in my artist table. Okay, so that's pushed over. Uh, that's been forward engineered. Those tables have been, have been created on our behalf. So what I'm going to do is jump back to the home screen here. And I am going to go to my databases. I'm going to make my connection to local instance, MySQL 80. And I'm going to go to the database that I just created. Here's my tables, album, and then artists. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create some records um, or we're going to insert some, insert some data into both the album and the artists. And then we're going to query from the artists, uh, the album table. So let's jump back to our PowerPoint and I've already given us a, a data file. So if we click on this file here, it's going to open it up. So here's our data that we're going to be using uh, to create our artists, uh, to create our records uh, within our database tables. So uh, to do that, if we click here, and one of the things you can use is this tool, um, and we can go down to where we could say insert. This is insert in two. And that's specifically, but we want to just do a straightforward insert. Here we go. So here's the syntax that we want to use. It gives us the structure for that, that command. Um, and then it gives an, that's an actual, actual example here. So I'll just copy this here for now. 
and I am going to do a side by side of my SQL. So I'll paste this in for structure, uh, but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to create uh, the insert records for um, each of my my albums here, and then I'll do the same thing for my artists. All right, so I was able to enter uh, my data, so I have the data for my album and I have the data for my artists. Um, one of the things that uh, slightly different from the file is my artist's name. And so in the text file, uh, I'm just going to pull that back up. Well, let's see. In the text file here, I have artist uh, name uh, with the capital N, but here I just have artist underscore name. So I just made it sure that uh, that aligned with uh, the way I name my columns in my database. And so just be careful of that <clears throat> when you're specifying it uh, in the insert statement. So here, how do I execute this code? Um, I want to go to, so our, my code is in here. I have my two insert statements and I'll just click on this lightning bolt. Uh, if I wanted to, if I, if I wanted, only wanted to execute a portion of this code, I would just highlight it and then I could click execute. So that's what I'm going to do now to see if it execute all the entries for my artists. All right, looks like it took. And just to double check to see if it worked, I'm gonna run a select statement. So this is one of the first commands outside of the insert that we're gonna run. And so we'll say select, and then the asterisk is saying we select all the columns from, and then from where, what database. In this case here, we're gonna say artists. And we'll just end that statement with a semicolon and then we'll execute it. So I highlight it because that's the only command that I want to execute at this point. And I'm just testing to make sure that my database run. Before I do that, I am going to copy all of this because when it executes, I don't want to mistakenly lose this here. So I just control C, keep it in my clipboard. And then now let's run this. All right, so there we go. We have our records that uh, has been successfully inserted. So now let's do the same here for our album. So just to double check here that my album has not been inserted. So if I say select all the columns from album, I shouldn't return any data at this point. It's empty. That's what we. Um, that's what I expect. So now let's go ahead and run this command here to insert all of these albums. So I'll highlight it. And you don't, if I wanted to insert all of this at one, I don't have to highlight it. I can just go ahead and press the, the, the this, this bolt and it'll execute all of my commands. So there we go. And then let's just test this out. Yep, and then there's all my data for my albums. So everything has been properly inserted. There's 19 rows here uh, and there's 19 rows that I've inserted. <clears throat> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take a look at uh, the W3 schools um, worksheet and we're going to uh, just kind of work our way down and do some querying. So right now all we've done here is that we've just uh, created the tables. Well, we have already created the tables, but we've inserted data to those tables uh, and we know that it successfully inserted because of these green check marks, but then also uh, we, we ensure that it inserted because we ran a select statement that returned the data that has been, that was, that was inserted. So we're good to go here. This video is getting a little long, so I'm going to pause it. And then in the next video, we'll go through a series of uh, commands using a select um, and then uh, demonstrating how we can retrieve specific information. Stay tuned.